first thing first, we are going to make the sleeves. To begin, make a slip knot and chain 108. It is 24.5 inches length. It is the size from the wrist to the top of the shoulder. If you want the sleeves longer, please add more chains until you reach your measurement. Next, make 14 stitches of single crochet. It is 2.5 inches length. It is the size of the wrist part. To begin, skip one chain and make single crochet. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into the next stitch until you got 14 stitches of single crochet. After you got 14 stitches of single crochet, use stitch marker to mark the last stitch. It is easy to know where we are going to make the wrist part. For next stitch, we are going to make half the ball crochet. To make half the ball crochet, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every chain until the end of the row and I will meet you again at the last stitch. For row 2, chain 2, turn your work, and we are going to make half the ball crochet back loop only. To make half the ball crochet back loop only, yarn over, insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until you reach your stitch marker and I will meet you again. And now, after you reach the stitch near stitch marker, then remove stitch marker and we are going to make single crochet back loop only. To make single crochet back loop only, insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through of the loop. So now you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you again.
rosary, chain one, turn your work, and we are going to make single crochet back loop only for 14 stitches. And now, after you got 14 stitches, for next stitch, we are going to make half the ball crochet back loop only into every stitches until the end of the row. For the next row, we are going to repeat row 2 and row 3 until you reach row 35. It is 12.5 inches width. It's the size around my upper arms. If you want the sleeves bigger, please make more rows. If you want it smaller, please make less row. And now after you got 35 rows, then we are going to chain one and cut off the yarn. Next, we are going to connect the sleeves by slip stitch both sides together. To begin, attach the yarn. Chain 1 
to make slip stitch, insert the hook into both loops, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until you got 18 inches length. It is the size from the wrist to underarm part. And now after you got 18 inches length, we are going to chain one and leave a long tail because we are going to try it on our arm to see if it fit or not. Turn the sleeves right side out and we are going to connect both sleeves together. To begin, attach the yarn. Chain 1 and we are going to make single crochet into the half double crochet stitches. So for this big loop, we are going to skip it. Repeat this into every stitches until you reach the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the roll, then we are going to continue by chain 10. It is the space at the front neck. Next, after you got 10 chains, and we are going to make slip stitch to connect the second sleeves. Mm -hmm. 
Then make single crochet into half double crochet stitches around until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now continue by chain 15, it is the space at the back neckline. Then slip stitch to connect the chain space Next, continue from your last stitches by chain 35 It is 5.5 inches length It is the height of the total neck For row 1, skip 1 chain and we are going to make slip stitch. To make slip stitch, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every chain until the end of the row and I will meet you back again. And now after you reach the end of the row, next we are going to slip stitch two times to connect the total neck with the sleeves. For this part, we are not slip stitch two times into the same stitch. It is slip stitch into the next next stitch. For row 2, turn your work and we are going to skip two stitches where we have slip stitch. Then make slip stitch back loop only. To make slip stitch back loop only, insert the hook into the back loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Repeat this into every stitches until the end of the row and I will meet you back again.
row 3, chain 1, turn your work and we are going to make slip stitch back loop only into every stitches until the end of the row then we are going to slip stitch 2 times to connect the total neck with the sleeves For next row, we are going to repeat row 2 and row 3 into every stitches of single crochet and I will meet you back again at the chain space. Thank you. 
for this part we are going to repeat row 2 and row 3 the same and slip stitch into these chains repeat this into every stitches around the neckline and i will meet you back at the end of the row And now after you reach the end of the roll, next we are going to make slip stitch to connect both sides together.
For the remaining yarns, use dining needle to hide them. For this part, the reason I leave a long tail because we need to try on the body again to see if it fit or not. If it's too tight, please unslip stitch it and if it still have a lot of space at underarm, please make more slip stitch. And then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Use the needle to hide the remaining yarn. And now your arm warmer sweater is done. If you like this tutorial, please don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel, turn on notification bell so you will notify when I post the video. And see you in the next video. Bye bye.